Hey everybody, I'm back. It's uh, Wednesday and I got just a little bit of an update. I've been waiting for this package in the mail for quite some time. And um, this is uh, just going to be kind of one of those things where it's promoting uh, one bit of commission painters, but also uh, what I was going to do. So anyways, so we'll what we off. have here are uh, Legion coins, pre-heresy Legion coins before the fall or before the heresy of Horus. Um, sorry for the shaky cam. These colors are actually a little bit bigger than I thought. Uh, when I said two and a half inches, I wasn't really thinking that two and a half inches would be the size of my pinky. So, um, give you a rough estimate how tall I am. <laughs> but, uh, no. Um, there's uh, going to be 20 of these coins all together. Um, these are the first 10. We have the Dark Angels, Imperial Fizz, Space Wolves, Iron Hand, um, White Scars, Blood Angels. Then we have um, Emperor's Children, Night Lords, World Eaters, and Iron Warriors. So, um, basically, yeah, uh, I gave the guy a description of, um, I gave Warp Arts, Warp Forge Miniatures, sorry, um, an idea. Uh, they ran with it. And this, and without stepping on my dog's tail, and so basically what I was going to do with these was during the Age of Terror game, I, would, I was going to give uh, these coins to the Primark players. And uh, we'll go with, say, we'll go with uh, the Night Lords one. Just because it looks cool and it's a skull. So, um, so I believe Hazard Syndrome is the Night Lord's Primarch. Um, so, um, he will be giving this coin. And how it will work would be uh, if him, or I'm, I'm sorry, not him. If uh, one of his other, um, one, one of the other Night Lord's players does something really cool, really uh, like table turning fantastic ju just basically whatever um has a syndrome will go okay here's your gift hand them the coin and then at the end they would um uh they, they would get a um whoever got the coin would get a um legitimate gift a legitimate prize so to speak um i do know that there are some people that do not have um, other people within their legion there's sometimes I, th I think there's just one person within the legion um, and, and I want I, I can't remember who but basically um, say um, here for instance uh, Black Legion Brassica does Iron Warriors okay say he is the only one that is doing the Iron Warriors Okay, well, he wouldn't give this coin to anyone. He would keep the coin for himself, and he would then get something that would go well with his army. Though he can probably just pick that up himself, but really, if you think about it, he doesn't have to pay for it at that point. Uh, and uh, for the Imperial Fist, um, Templar Crusader 01 Brian, um, he, he would be give him this coin and then he would have to uh, give the coin to someone else who was playing Emperor, uh, Imperial Fist, sorry, Imperial Fist, uh, and just um, really just uh, be a good sport about it. Um, if you, there would have been an option if you chose to keep the coin to get the prize yourself, uh, but really on something like that you would have to give me an extremely good reason. To, to do that uh, so um, but there are interests I believe the white cards player is the only white cards player there is um, within the uh, campaign so he could keep it he could keep the coin for himself um, and that that would be fine uh, so yeah um, also there's going to be another 10 coins made um, 
there's going to be one coin uh, with the Emperor's sig Sigil. Uh, not the two-headed eagle, but the one-headed eagle with the lightning bolts. Um, to show off as the Emperor. And um, Brian would have been handing that out to any one of the Legion, Legion Primarchs. Or Legion Captains or whoever. That one he could not keep for himself. And then there would, would have been another one with the uh, Mechanicus Cog. And I would have been giving that out personally. So, yeah, I don't have anything for, like, IG players. Honestly, I couldn't think of anything at the time. But um, it's mainly just um, coins and Legion markers. Now, um, unfortunately, this was was going to be something I really wanted to do, something I wanted to um, basically show my appreciation to everyone that was that had done it, um, that put three years of their lives <laughs> into into this um, campaign. So let's just go and get a closer look. And if you're wondering, this is Terra, uh, Imper Imperator M30. So the um, pre heresy coins, or Legion coins, or Lodge coins, whichever which way you want to put it. There's the Space Wolf one, one of my favorites. But I actually have to admit, I actually kind of like this one. Let's put it on focus real quick here yeah there we go I actually kinda like this one because of the um, shiny blood drop so well, you got the iron hand um, Jamie Jackson would have been given this one since he had um, first manas but unfortunately uh, he lost his head uh, then would have got this one. Um, not too sure who's playing um, World Eaters. He would have got that one. Has a syndrome. Um, Black Legion Brasco. So those are the coins. That's what they were originally designed for. Uh, and that's what I was going to use them for. To be honest with everybody. Uh, but unfortunately. Um, with the way everything happened, I wasn't going to be able to make it. I couldn't make it to the game, which really I really wanted to, but yeah, life got in the way, issues got in the way, so it, it was just kind of one of those things, unfortunately. Uh, but if But um, basically, I was thinking if um, Brian did like a yearly siege on Terra, to maybe one day actually have the bad guys win, or maybe just kind of flip flop, I can come with these and do it again. But he's pretty much said no, he's not going to do it. The those one time in October is it. So, anyways, that's um, that's some actually kind of cool stuff from Warp Forge Miniatures. Um, one last look at some of these coins here. Um, so, you got the Emperor's Children, which is really nice. I just I had it really simple, a little bit of silver, brass, gold, um, all the way around. The Night Lords of Night Lordy Glory. Yes, yes, has it. I stole that from you. Iron Warriors. World Eaters. Iron Hands. So. Um. I'm actually kind of happy that they didn't do the like extreme detail in the um, in the in the hand. That, that would have been that would have been a little crazy. But 
but they did they did a fantastic job with the etching and whatnot. And they centered it beautifully, perfectly. And those those are pretty th pretty thick coins. Sorry, I I do apologize. That's my dog in the background. So, sorry about that. That was my dog in the background gnawing on a bone. Now I, I'm hiding it underneath the desk here. Hopefully that my one dog doesn't go into his cave. Um, so, anyways, yeah, Imperial Fist. I I do like the nice nice detail that um, Steve from Warforge Avenger did. Tom did an excellent job on the painting of it. Used a lot of liquid um, metals. And, and and everything else, he, they did a fantastic job. So, if um, um, also for um, in coming up, the ones playing um, Lunar Wolves or the Sons of Horus, it was actually going to have that old style uh, crescent moon with the wolf head. I wasn't going to do the eye for the Sons of Horus. Sorry. Not a fan of it. I understand the point of it, but I'm not a fan. Space Wolf one, so uh, Matt Dell would have got this, and he would have given it to one of the other Space Wolf players or himself. But again, he would have to give me a reason why he had he would want to keep it. But Dark Angel. I mean, these turned out magnificent. These are great. I actually like how these turned out. I can't wait to see what the next set of 10 looks like. 